Hello and welcome to a new vlog. In a previous video, if you remember, I talked about this uh, cheap USB U-Block 7 module, which uh, comes with this USB interface, obviously, to be used, uh, probably connected to a notebook computer or tablet or something like that. Uh, but it doesn't have any it doesn't have the uh, UART pins broken out to any test pads or something useful like that. So in this video I'm going to attempt to solder a couple of wires to the QFN package and uh, break out the UART pins and see if we can make this module work over UART because that makes it uh, much more useful for the projects I'm working on. So let's take a look at the module under a magnifying glass. I couldn't find the datasheet for the uBlock 7 chip because it's supposed to be released only under NDA but I did find some cached uh, information in Google and from there I learned the uBlock 7 chip has a remapping feature for the UART interface which means the UART pins can be remapped to another two physical pins using one of two options either by setting some config fuse bits or by using an IO pin and pulling it low or high. Normally, if the remapping is not used, the UART pins should be pin 19 TX and pin 18 RX, which are somewhere in this region. However, if the pin remapping is used, then they could be on uh, pin 36 and 37, which are on this side. So first, I would like to check uh, pin 33, which is the harder pin used for the remapping feature. If this pin is high, remapping should be off and the UART should be present on pin 18 and 19. So let's measure that uh, pin now. I have uh, the module powered from my bench power supply and I'm going to use my multimeter to check the level on uh, pin 33. Okay, so we get a high level, 3.2 volts on uh, pin 33. So uh, that's good news, we might be lucky. Next step is to try and uh, solder two very thin wires to the uh, UART pins and see if we get any activity on them. And this is going to be the most painful part because my chip soldering iron will make my work even harder. First I'm going to apply a blob of this uh, gel flux because it's the best for this kind of uh, SMD work just to avoid any solder bridges and uh, make the soldering much easier. You can see how big the flux uh, blob looks compared to the pins that we need to solder on and trust me this is a very thin pair of tweezers and I, you can barely see the blob on the tip of the tweezers but it looks so big compared to the QFN pins and it's even more difficult doing this uh, looking through the camera but I'm going to try and uh, melt the solder It's just very difficult to do it looking through the camera.
yeah we may have a connection on this wire and now just to add a little bit of strength to these uh, very thin wires I'm going to add this uh, piece of uh, hot melt glue uh, and I'm going to use uh, hot air just to melt it and uh, cover the wires all around. I have connected uh, my oscilloscope to the two UART pins and uh, this looks like it's a success because uh, if we take a look at the scope screen we can see bursts of data coming out of the UART pins so the next step is to solder some uh, header pins and connect it to my computer and check it in a terminal to see what kind of data we're getting out of the module the next thing I did was to connect the module through an FTDI USB to serial converter to my computer and check its output in a serial terminal. And uh, it was a success. I was getting the GPS data over serial. I have also tried with uh, the app from uBlocks. I believe it's called the U Center and it uh, correctly identified my module and it was uh, receiving data from it. Too bad uh, they didn't uh, just uh, place a couple of test pads connected to those pins uh, directly in the design of the PCB because it was really a pain to solder to those very tiny QFN pins and uh, it would have made uh, my life much easier. But I'm quite happy with the result and uh, I now have a module that can be used in uh, uh, some other projects. As usual. Thank you for uh, watching this video, a thumbs up always helps and uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, follow me on Twitter. See you next time.